Hello everyone. In this tutorial we're going to show you how to create headers for your rows and columns in data sets for Google Sheets. And this is also called freezing a row or a column. Now before we show you how to do this, I want to show you if you don't have headers in your columns and rows, some of the issues it can cause. So let's say that we want to sort this data set here alphabetically by sales rep. We go up to this little drop down arrow and we go to sort. What you'll notice is what we thought was a header row sorted itself into the table and we don't want that. So let's go ahead and undo that and show you how to remedy that. So the first thing you want to do is select the row you want to be able to set as a header. Then go up to view and freeze and in this case we're just going to choose one row okay so that will freeze that and as you scroll down you will always be able to see that header row and also it will now allow you to sort this table alphabetically without the header sorting itself into the data set so we can click the drop down here and let's hit sort sheet A to Z and now it's sorted alphabetically okay now let's show you an example. If you want to create a column header or freeze a column, you can select the column, go up to view, freeze, and in this case we'll just hit one column. If you were to hit the two columns, you could freeze two columns. But let's just show you this first example. And now as we scroll over, we'll always be able to see the sales rep names, even if we have data way over here off to the right. Now let's go ahead and undo that. Now let's say that you wanted to freeze the sales rep and the sales. Just select this second column, go to view, freeze, and you can click on this two columns. So now as you scroll over, you'll always be able to see the sales rep and the sales. Okay. And if you want, to, let's say you wanted to freeze all four of these columns because you had a whole bunch of data over here off to the right. Let's go ahead and undo this current freeze. We'll go to our last column, D, go up to view, freeze, and you can say up to. So now, let's. if you just have a bunch of data over here, just as an example, you can see you can access that data and all four of these columns will stay frozen. Okay? So that is how you create columns and headers or sometimes it's referred to as freezing a column or a header. We'll be doing many more spreadsheet tutorials here in the near future. Join us for those and we'll see you next time.